of all, hello everybody, and welcome to I'll Bring Dessert. This is episode six, and today, guys, today we have easily, and I do mean easily, my son's absolute favorite celebrity on the show. When I told him that she was going to be on the show, he came scurrying in the kitchen, yeah, and he was like, <laughs> so starstruck because our guest today has done one of his favorite competition cooking shows. And my son was just like, I can't believe, like, you must be famous to be able to talk to her. And I thought that was the cutest thing. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> Aside from her cooking show prowess, our guest today is just, I mean, just a delightful sweet, uh, down-to-earth, kind-hearted, incredible human being. You just heard her say she's a daredevil. I am decidedly not. <laughs> but she has an infectious energy that just makes you love her. Oh, when I met her, I just instantly, our, <laughs> our connection was amazing. Yeah, Today, we did have a long conversation. We did. We were supposed to chat for an hour. We ended up talking for almost two hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, we had this instant connection. I am so grateful she's on the show. Everybody, please welcome to I'll Bring Dessert, Miss Alex Bala. Hello. Um, party people. It's always a party in the kitchen. Always, always a party in the kitchen. Always a party at the house. You always got to have a party. If you're working out, it's got to be a party. <laughs> It's got to be a party, <laughs> especially when you're working out. Yeah. Joy, it's, energy, enjoying yes, what yes. you do. That's why we yes. do this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> Alex hits the nail on the head. She was say whoop, whoop. <laughs> I love it. Oh, she went, when she went in the kitchen with us today. That's my mom. She, Did you know? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Hi, mom. Mm. The collard greens queen, honestly. Yes. <laughs> Sheila, Miss Sheila, because I'm going to call you Miss Sheila. Can I have your collard greens recipe, please? <laughs> She'll write you. <laughs> yeah. All Give right. So, it up. <laughs> today, Alex, tell me what we're making. Okay, we're going to make the super easy and delicious meal because we all need an easy meal when we all have, even if you have one kit, you need an easy meal. So it's vegetable and sausage yep. blue type pasta. It's like a skillet. It's super easy, every, essentially, minus the pasta, but it's very simple. It's flavorful. You can add a lot of spice to it. You can pull back on the spice. It's healthy. You can mm -hmm. unload vegetables from the refrigerator that you haven't used and that you're like, mm, I should use that before it goes back. I love like, that. I love that so much. So you don't have to be married to the vegetables that yep. are in the recipe. Like exactly. these amazing little tiny tomatoes. You can switch it up. You can add more if you're like, I need to use the rest of this. Like, mm -hmm. It's very interchangeable, but everybody loves this recipe. When I put it out there, it's like, oh my God, I make this like once a week. And I'm like, that's awesome. Because That is awesome. Minutes, so, so Alex, <laughs> what got you interested in cooking? Like what? Is the first thing that you remember really getting you interested in cooking? Man, I've I've cooked for since forever. So um, yeah. So like my mom and my dad, my grandfather was a chef in the navy. Oh, if you really? Watched, I should tell my story a little bit there, but he was a chef in the navy. He had yeah. a couple of restaurants in Texas, and they were like just like pit bar. You, know, you sell plates and that kind of stuff. So. It's really intertwined just in the family that yeah. we just, everything revolved. I mean, you know, in our culture, everything revolves around food and it just, absolutely. either you pick it up or you don't, but I was right. like allowed to be in the kitchen. So I, I was standing, you know, right next, you know, catching like the recipe because there's no recipe that's written down. You know, you better. None? No, if you, if you miss it, you, you're going to miss the recipe. <laughs> So if you're not standing right there watching, you know, grandmama make her fried chicken or my mom make half a greens recipe, she just, 
makes them. And I'm like, how do you? And she said, it's different every time. (laughs) Every time. Every time. (laughs) Mom, if I may. (laughs) Yeah. Mom. How are Alex and I supposed to recreate the greens um, if they're different every time and we don't have you here I know. to tell us? Now I'm going to have her. I'm going to challenge her. This is her challenge right now. Uh oh. I'm going to challenge her to write it down and let's, and I'm going to remake them because Andre only requests her greens. He'll eat mine, but he's like, <laughs> greens. I'm like, yeah, she's going to make them. And so. I'm going to have her write it down. I'm going to make it here. And then I'm going to, we're going to do a greens off, you know, you're going to do a greens off with your mother. Yeah. I know I'll probably lose. It's fine, but I want to see. It's entirely likely that you will lose (laughs) that competition. It is likely that I will lose. But, um, so everybody cooks. My brother cooks, my Uh dad cooks, um, in, in high school, my dad came to our high school and cooked fried chicken and taught the home ec class how to cook fried chicken. Stop! <laughs> I mean, it is like, we we put together around like my friends and stuff, we put together challenges. Yeah. So we're, gonna, we're like, okay, we're Not like Tide food. Pod challenges. <clears throat> Not like what? Not like a Tide Pod challenge, but like. No, like, okay. like we do like rip offs like everybody and like yeah we just have like challenges all the time we have fun prizes and stuff and really when I when I started cooking I was young I had an easy bake oven and you know this was when it first came out it had the light bulb it still does I think I don't know but But, I um, probably so everybody in my house was kind of you know tortured with the gooey um brownie you know (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the brownie that I cooked for like three hours that never fixed. That you know, never, never really baked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So my that sister brownie, and I had an easy bake oven. Yeah. And I was such a bad baker that I was banned from using the easy bake oven. From the easy bake. Ooh. I was banned from the easy bake. Yes. But now you're like. What now? You let the bomb die. I mean, Come. I can do a little something, something. I can yeah, do a little something. if you haven't looked at her <laughs> vlog and her cakes, like, you are missing. I wish, okay, this is my wish that I'm going to put in the atmosphere because. We oh, just, is this a challenge for me? Yeah. How do we ship? Oh. I mean, I would pay the extra shipping for you to send. Oh, me too. <laughs> you just, you're like putting everybody on blast. You put your mama on blast. I'm a lot of you too. I need these cakes. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're so okay. beautiful though you know what i'm gonna do though i'm gonna recreate whatever cake you make today i'm gonna recreate it this is Ooh. it's gonna be beautiful. i like to hear that <laughs> i love to hear that yeah so, so anyway, do you bake and cook um hmm. baking for me i'm gonna sign up for shawnee's baking academy because that's oh, an issue for me <laughs> um but it's not because i don't like to do it yeah it's because everything at high altitude, I live in Colorado, for those mm-hmm. of you that don't know, everything that comes in high altitude, I struggle with like making an adjustment so that it can cook yeah. well. Like it's really hard because the air is so thin here. The water yeah. is different. Everything in baking is science. So in Colorado, it's so my case. It's a challenge. Yeah. High altitude baking is a real, <laughs> a real thing. And as I said, yep. I've never lived in high altitude, but I do know some of the, the yeah. adjustments that people need to make. So maybe I will do a course on high altitude baking. We shall see. Yeah. And even if, if I, I do, do, you guys can. I'm good with the tip. Like, I'll take a tip. tip. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> So I can bake, I can fake bake something. What's fake baking? <laughs> you know, I can make like um, cheese cakes, but like you know, maybe the whole big one. Oh, honey. Cake anyway. This cake is not fake baking. That's the real thing. <laughs> I love cheesecake. That's my favorite. Oh, cheesecake. It's so good. <laughs> like I'm sitting here thinking up. now about cheesecake and I'm just like, mm. Cheesecake. Is I wish I had some cheesecake right now. 
You should make that. But anyway. <laughs> so everybody in your family cooks. You said your brother cooks, your mom cooks, your dad yep. cooks, like your everybody. grandfather cooks. Like Andre cooks. He grills um, a yeah. lot. He smokes a lot of meat. But yeah, he cooks. Are you teaching? Everybody cooking. So you got the kids the cooking. Yeah, yeah. I got the boys cooking. It might not always they be like perfect, it. Oh, yeah, they love it. Malcolm's like, okay, when are we doing our next video? When are we doing our next thing? Da, da, da. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, my goodness. They, like, they just like, it's just part of, it's just part. Of, and it's fun. Yeah. It's, fun. it's a good life skill. It's a, you mm -hmm. know, because regardless of if they are in a relationship or not, they have to be able to feed themselves properly. Absolutely. Nutrition, all of that stuff is super important. So it's just life skills period like, yeah. you know, like cook maybe you get yourself a partner that knows how to cook that's great but so do you you know so. right right yeah. oh my gosh I love that I love that I'm trying to teach my children how to cook but I don't think they really like being in the kitchen with me very much <laughs> yeah maybe because it's like you have a certain way and they're like well I want to do it like this right so it's hard it's like well yeah, I want to teach you like yeah. that it's I think the word the word is intense. <laughs> and I try not to be, but, you know, I'm just like, no, 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 don't do it like that. <laughs> not like that. And they're like, you know what, mommy, you go ahead and finish it. <laughs> you're like, I'm going to go outside and jump on a trampoline. You're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes ladies. For sure. Yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah, so when I was younger, though, I used to make um, cooking shows. Like You did? Old school like yeah commercials for me we'd have like a cooking show like this was before anything youtube instagram nothing existed obviously but yeah right. I, was like, I was like eight or nine and i was already like making cooking shows um mom i'm just <laughs> going to ask if there's footage from these cooking shows still there in existence there still is, is footage there really? yep is there really the old school V8, like, you know, when you put it into the camera, yeah. there's still that. But I got to figure out how to play it, like, or how to rip it off of that. Yeah. I oh, should do that. that's no problem. You can send it right here. <laughs> Alex, tell Valerie what we're cooking today. We're cooking vegetable and sausage, uh, um, both tie pasta in it. I think, Shawnee, you have, what do you have? Turkey sausage? I have turkey sweet Italian sausage, so I'm going to oh, add okay. a little bit of butter. Yeah, yeah and because we are the butter babes, hello. Yep, exactly. Um, yeah, but butter, I have turkey olive Italian olive. sausage. Um, I have all of my mise en place sitting right here, ready to go. I have a dog who's just barking for no reason. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I have. So yeah. let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, I have my pan warm. I'm using my Dutch oven instead of my skillet because I don't think my skillet's going to work oh, with my it. induction top. How oh, much okay. olive oil do I need? I would put like, okay, is there like a little spout on the top of that? Is it going to sure. jump? Yeah. Just do like two tablespoons. I would two choose. tablespoons. And how much butter would you recommend? As much as you want. <laughs> as okay. much as I want. Uh, maybe like. <laughs> okay. A okay, tablespoon so like butter. Put it. a knife. I like to put butter mm -hmm. and olive oil together in the skillet because butter's burning point is like so much lower than like yeah. olive oil or avocado oil. So it kind of evens it out, but you still get the flavor of butter with like kind of the cooking speed and temperature of the olive oil. So that's, mm -hmm. that's why I like to mix those. I don't know if that's what you always do, but I always do. Um, pretty frequently. I just love the smell of butter. I yeah. love working with butter in the kitchen. Like, even now, I have butter and olive oil in my Dutch oven. It smells like heaven. Yeah. And if you, you guys can't see her, because she's off camera, but my baby girl's over here. And she's like, is it ready? <laughs> she's on her team. She's like, let's go. Let's go. Right. This one is quick, though. So it'll be good. Like, Ms. once Alex we get, says, this one is quick, baby girl. Yeah, once you get the meat sauteed down, mm -hmm. it'll be like, you'll be, it'll be done. Because the pasta's already. Yeah, the pasta's cooked. Yeah. My veggies are not cooked, obviously, but yeah. yeah. So she's going to cook down the, the meat and then whatever, like, um, 
fat is left from the meat because you'll remove the meat so you can like kind of saute down the vegetables in that the juice from the meat you know um that's the best part yeah um, yes yes yeah 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 i know mixing olive oil and butter that's the best right yes and it's the yes. best also for like searing like meats and yeah. like chicken and getting that nice sear on the skin absolutely you know it's medium kind of medium high temperature you get that nice little Ooh. brown crust on the skin yes we love the golden brown crust. Yeah. And even for a steak, like mm -hmm. I do steaks in my um, skillet all the time. Yeah. And it's only when I add the butter that the fire alarm starts going off, but I add butter every single time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to baste it with butter because, I mean, you know, you know how they, okay, like we said, whenever you go to a restaurant, you're like, oh my gosh, this food's so good. It's because of that extra kick of the food that in the butter and that I mean exactly that's exactly, exactly. Why it tastes so good so yeah. get yourself some butter sometimes you know sometimes I buy I'm like oh I'll get the store brand butter for like certain things but then I'm right. like I'm like splurge and get like you know the cured or gold gold or whatever you have to have like the really good you know yes like Irish cream like that yes. it makes so you just need it. I mean, if you're making I spoil cookies, myself with good butter all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you're making cookies, do good butter. Like chocolate chip cookies deserve mm -hmm. the best butter you can buy. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, if you're on a tight budget, fine. You can just do regular butter. Say it yeah. again. If you're on a tight budget, you can always just, you know, do regular store brand or whatever you buy. Yeah. Whatever you like. That extra little makes it so much better. <laughs> like today, as always, I'm using my patented Vermont Creamery. It's not my patented, but okay. it's my favorite butter, Vermont okay. Creamery. I've used so many different butters, and I have actually tested Vermont Creamery against other butters, it always comes out on top for me. Vermont Creamery, is that mm -hmm. is that like national? Is it like I can find this at the yeah. store? Yes, you can. You can go right on their website and they actually have a store locator that is very accurate, I might add. <laughs> so um, you like it over like an Irish the Irish cream or or um what's the other one? <sighs> How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Well you know yeah, I want to know. I love. So here's my butter, my butter um, story. I started off with sweet cream butter because that's what my mother always used when I was growing up. So when I started baking as an adult, it was always sweet, sweet cream butter. So it was the land of lakes, you know. Yeah. I found Finlandia and I was like, oh, this is good stuff. And it is. Yeah. Um, Finlandia is my favorite sweet cream butter to this day. Okay. And then I was in Trader Joe's and I happened to pick up their store brand called Trader Jacques, which I thought was just a really cute name. Yeah. So I brought it home and I went online and I did some research and I was like, oh, what is this cultured butter thing about? Okay. Um, and I realized that cultured butter is butter where you the milk sits for like a day or two. They okay. add active cultures to it, and then they churn it. Sweet cream uh, butter, it's like the minute it is, the minute it's milk from a cow, mm -hmm. the milk or the cream, they make it into butter. Cultured butter sits for a little bit with the active cultures working before it's churned into butter. Okay. That process, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it does something to that butter. But it's okay, so this is from Trader, Trader Joe's. Yes, and it's called Trader Jacques. Trader. That was the first one Jacques. that really okay. turned me on to cultured butter. Okay. So I was like, oh my gosh, I don't ever want to use anything other than cultured butter ever again. Okay, we got some comments about the butter. Okay, let's we see. Did? Um, Letitia, which is my sister-in-law. Uh, Letitia. Um, she says we like the gold Irish butter. And that she cooks too. Like, yeah. So she so, likes the gold Irish. Valerie likes. I love. Oh, geez. 
I've never really used E. I haven't really used it either. I should um, not have to like it. formulate an opinion about I it. Yeah. Well, I know people who that. swear by it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay, is, it's that not a turkey? is that a mix of turkey and the Italian? This is turkey, sweet Italian sausage. Okay. So it's okay. all turkey. Okay. But the um and do you ever make your own butter? Do I ever make my own butter? Yeah. You ever no. make your own butter, something? Mm -mm. No. no. Mm -mm. I went from Trader Jacques to Kerrygold, and I stayed with Kerrygold for a very long time. I mean, yeah, and that's the Irish gold I yeah. think that Fish is talking about. Yep. Yeah. And it's an amazing butter. Yeah. Um, the color what is I'm like always, oh, the color is crazy. Yeah. I'm always with ingredients, I'm always trying to like figure out what the best ingredients are for what I'm trying to make. What goes in next? Okay, so um, add just a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Okay. Um, um, so, you know, those little bits can come off. <laughs> and then add in um, your vegetables. So you have, I think, do you have peppers? What vegetables? Onions, peppers. peppers, onions, and mushrooms. Perfect. So if you can separate out the mushrooms, maybe just, I mean, you can put it all in together. Oh, sure. It just that the mushrooms cook so fast, and that yeah. you don't want all the water to kind of come out. I like to cook sure. mushrooms at the end. Um, sure, yes, chef. So I haven't tried to make my own butter, but I'm going to have to rewatch your video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't tried so, because so, I just found butter that I love so much. Yeah, <laughs> Valerie loves ghee. Um, uh huh. We pan searing, but not sure about baking it with it. Okay. Right? Yeah, I'll have to try. A lot of people. Like, I've been watching videos, and they're like, oh, you can use butter or ghee. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I haven't really. The we have to play with these ingredients so that we can report to our people. Yeah. All right, so I have my onions in. I put my, yep. you want my yep. um, peppers yeah, in? Peppers, yep. Yeah, and Anything give them a nice stir. And then uh, go ahead and season that with, um, I think, some salt, kind of Italian seasoning. Oh, yeah, I have my seasoning mix right here. Perfect. Yep. Season it. Season it now. Yep. Ready. Give a little bit of flavor in the. We love pot. flavor. <laughs> yeah. We and love then you flavor. You can also put in your, your um, crushed red pepper. You want it for the kids. It's in there. Uh, it's are in they okay there. with that? Oh, oh yeah. it's in there already. Oh, yeah. so they're going to get all the love then. All the love. Yeah. <laughs> All the love and spice. Um, oh, my kids okay. like spice, though, so that's good. Yeah. Um, my daughter likes spice more than my son, but I think this is not going to – this won't be yeah. too much for him. No, it should be okay. So saute that down and then um, give it a little taste to see if that's, like, what you want. Because once, mm -hmm. once you add the meat back in, it'll soak up some of that uh, seasoning. Okay. And then you're going to add um, – add the – how yeah. soft do I want these vegetables? My peppers and onions. You know, do you, I like a little crunch. Not yeah, like too. too much crunch, but like if they're getting like a little bit like translucent, that might be too far. But like. Okay. No, color. they're not. <laughs> Keep the color, but you know, let it get just not too soft. You don't want to mushy. Right. Really? And I like the vibrant color. Yeah. All right. So my mushrooms are in. Okay. So mushrooms. Perfect. Mushrooms okay. in. Let those go for like 30 seconds and then throw your meat in. And sure. You're this both is so easy. Yeah, I know. It's, I, I mean, I'm not saying it like it, like, duh, but it's like, it is this easy. Like, and everybody loves Oof. this dish. Oof. That's my favorite part. Just don't inhale the steam, friends. Don't inhale the smoke, the steam, whatever is coming out of your pot. <laughs> it will make you sneeze and cough. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So mushrooms are in. Throw your Her meat in. Meat is going back in. You know what it's like? Um, you know when you make blackened sure. catfish or a blackened, like when you make like blackened catfish? Yeah. When you put that cayenne in there and you, Ooh. that thing hits the pot. I mean, I do every time it's like, it like overtakes yeah. your, yeah. your senses. But you do it again and again. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Crazy. 
Of course. Because <laughs> it tastes awesome. Oh, it looks right, good. So I can oh, tell. It looks good. Yeah. And then, good. and then, because everything's done now, you just add your bow tie pasta and add a little bit of olive oil just so that really? the pasta is not clumpy. Really? Mm -hmm. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. Do I add all of it? You said in your recipe I might not need all of it. Yeah, I just do like half of it. I don't, half do you use it? a gallon of pasta? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I just do half. Okay, so you have a little more than half. Okay, perfect. Yeah, give it a little mix. Okay. Yeah. And it looks like olive oil on the so that's good. Yes, that black and spice gets me every time. Yeah, see, that's good. Girl. Yeah. Okay. My daughter perfect. saved me. She gave me a bottle of water, so ah. thank you, my dear. <laughs> thank you, my baby. Okay. Loves blackened anything, but that spice always makes her choke the same. That's <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but we do it all the time. All right, yeah. so my meat is in. My veggies are in. My spinach and my tomatoes are not yet in. So I'm waiting to hear from yeah. you. Yes, the spinach is one of those things that kind of wilts down very mm -hmm. quickly. You could throw that in right now. The spinach? spinach? Yeah. And I have cheese and tomatoes as well. Does that all go in? I would put the, I would put the tomatoes in at the end. Okay. Closer. My spinach. Put the, put, yep. Put the put the spinach and then put the tomatoes in now if you want or at the end. It depends. Do you okay. want the mushy? Do you want the no. mushy? Okay. No. So just as it's finishing, then you just yeah. kind of put them in and just toss them around. Okay. That spinach will melt down pretty quick. You know how spinach is big yeah. and it's like nothing. You get this whole box of spinach and then you're all oh. It's one I made serving. one serving. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody gets a dibble, a dabble of spinach. Oh, a dibble and a dabble. <laughs> <laughs> you get a spinach. Please. One piece of spinach. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So my spinach is wilting. Yep. Almost done. Yeah. So now what? And then I would put the tomatoes in just for the last. Mm -hmm. How's the pasta doing? Is it like good? I mean, if you're asking me to check, I can check. Taste it. Mm. Everybody should taste their food all the time. Mm. It's delicious. Nom. <laughs> Nom. All right, yeah. here we go. Here we go. Ooh, you're making me happy with this. And yeah. I love how it looks like your pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Intentionally made to be easy, right? <laughs> but I mean, there's easy that doesn't look like the pictures, like the like the pictures on yeah, like a frozen dinner that looks so delicious, and you're like, oh, that's gonna be great, and then you make it, and you're like, what yeah, is this like, mm. thing that's swimming in water? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I have tomatoes. I have cheese left. Perfect. Just okay. put the tomatoes in there. Now you can cut the heat a little bit. Okay. It's all through cooking, and then yeah, I'm fully <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. That's how I eat while I'm cooking. And Andre's like, are you going to eat dinner? I was like, well, I Absolutely. just did while I'm, I've am i been making this whole dish. Yeah, not hungry. I'm not hungry. Not hungry at all. Mm -mm. I've taken five or six scoops of this. <laughs> that would be like a regular tasting, yes. There are times yeah. that I taste so much. because That was great. So oh now... God. So now you're going to, um, you can put the Parmesan now or you can just plate it up and then put Parmesan. No. Yeah. I want Parmesan. Parmesan. Do you have shredded? I shredded it myself. Oh, perfect. Ooh. I shredded it. Perfect. And bam, mm -hmm. it's done. Cut the heat. It's so you done. burn the cheese and it's good. Right. And um, so the best part about this is it's light. It's healthy. Um, you know, it's one of those meals you can have for lunch. It you could make you know little boxes of it for the week, whatever you want to do. Oh, I cut the heat off. Yeah, I am going to hopefully be able to show you all. And baby girl, how beautiful be this is! Sorry, 
I said, your little girl's hungry, so she'll be ready to eat. Oh, can you see her? No, I can't. Oh. <laughs> she's little. she's like literally right here. She is <laughs> literally right here. Yeah. I love a one pot quick meal. Yeah. Valerie, me too. And I'm so grateful that yeah. Alex brought this to yeah. me today because it looks like perfection. I'm gonna show you guys. And I'm going to grab a bowl or a couple of bowls because I want to plate some up for my baby girl who is so hungry uh -huh. and so cute. You guys should see her face. She's being patient. My kids she would is. be screaming at me, but so, <laughs> super I don't know how well you guys can see. Oh, it looks delicious. It is. It, it, it does. It looks absolutely. And I like it in the Dutch oven. I think it, that's a good um, depth for that meal too. Oh yeah, especially since I was a little liberal with the meat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All righty, I'm plating up. Okay. A portion for my baby girl. Where's she, she at? Always stays off camera. Oh, she said she's. She's like, very very up. shy about That's being on right. camera. That's okay. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. <laughs> but. What I am not is shy about eating on camera. Yeah, so let's I'm see. I'm going to get my tasting portion. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I got to get some tomatoes. Now I'm hungry. Although, I mean, I had something earlier, but this looks delicious today. <laughs> it does look delicious today. And I'm so glad that it's, like, in my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how easy this was to make. Um, I think sometimes we can convince ourselves that, you know, a good meal has to be like fraught. It has to like be painful for us to make yeah. and take forever and cause a lot of dishes. The dishes yeah. that this created are all things that can go straight in the dishwasher except for the Dutch oven. That's right. the only thing I really have to like yeah. scrub. Okay. Yeah. I'm there going it is. to get my bite. I'm mm -hmm. so excited to taste this. I have some meat, I have veggies, I have pasta, of course. I have a, a tomato and some spinach. Perfect. So what I have here is a perfect, perfect, perfect bite of food. It's nice and hot too. So, excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It's delicious. I wish I had some right now. It is. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Alex? For sure. It is. Alex? But it's delicious. Alex? I need to like make all of your recipes without delay. This is so, 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 oh, thumbs up. <laughs> my son would put his big toes up. Like, <laughs> all the big toes. Good. This is a definite, definite, definite winner. It is so delicious. And it's, it's and a too much. You like the mm -hmm. spice? You like the spice? I do. Okay, good. Like, okay. I know it's there, right? Let's talk yeah. about spice. I know the spice is there, um, yeah. but it's not like blowing out my my taste buds. Not at all. Yes. It's just giving them like a nice hug and yeah. saying hello. It's awakening the flavor really of the spinach for me, which is which is weird, right? Yeah, I love spin. I love adding spinach to dishes. That's my favorite. Yes. Part. Yeah. That's a great addition to this dish. Yeah. And my, excuse me, I take one more bite. My friend Tony, he oh, he does this one, but he adds basil to it, and he like he likes adding. Okay. That. So yeah, I mean, like I said, at the he, end, or he adds it in place of the spinach. Just at just at the end, just mm -hmm. he just likes that extra touch of that sweetness, I guess. Ooh. And um, yeah, so it's a very versatile dish you know Bulls. you could also do zucchini in there squash whatever you think. whatever you guys like <laughs> and it makes you dance Did this you? this i like i like this i like this perfect as it is needs no additions no subtractions needs nothing else yeah it is so valerie the the recipe um yeah so i'll post uh i'll have i'll either add it in yep. the comments or something there's a link for the recipe on my website so the um recipe will be posted um yeah. 
when the video posts on Thursday, the recipe will be linked. But tell them where they can find you, Valerie. Uh, Valerie, tell them where they can find you, Alex. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram um, at the Butter Babe, or you can find me on YouTube at the Butter Babe. Um, Facebook, same, uh, except for it's just spelled out with spaces. Uh -huh. But I'm on all three of those. And yeah, and you can just follow me. And I, you know, on YouTube, I'm getting ready to put out um, a self produced show that I've created. Love friends that are gonna it's gonna be really fun so hopefully in the next month that's gonna drop and that will be super fun so but you also have a blog I, so don't forget that don't blog. forget the blog yep. on the buttabase.com yes. yep my blog and spell butter for it us out. spell butter <laughs> it's you all have to spell it butter. but you have that's to spell right. it for us because people are gonna think it's b-u-t-t-e-r when okay. it is C-U-T-T-A. Yeah, yep, exactly. <laughs> I like that in the background. Uh, yeah, that was my son. B-U-T-T-A-B-A-B. -T -T -B -B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you can follow me on all those streams, and and I'll just be cooking up, you know. I do it for the love of cooking. Yes, she does. Not for anything other than that. Um, now, let's talk about your cooking. Yeah. And let's talk about the fact that you are a household name. In my house. Let's just get it out of the way. Because we were talking about Easy Bake Ovens earlier, but you actually have yeah. been on a television show. And yeah. because of that television show, you are a household name here. My son went totally gaga when he saw your face today. <laughs> like, tell us about which show you were on and tell us so, what yeah. it was like. You can also catch me on Easy Bake Battle on Netflix. Um, so Anthony Porosky is the host and I was mm -hmm. on episode seven, um, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And that was super fun. A super awesome experience. Um, I was so grateful that I, I interviewed for it and got casted for the show. So, and was, oh, and show my best cooking ability, regardless of the outcome. <laughs> I feel like I put my best foot forward and left nothing on the table. So I was super happy and super excited to be part of it. Well, I'm going to say it. You should have won. <laughs> <laughs> we were cheering very loudly for you. <laughs> um, both We've watched your episode a few times. And every yeah. time we are just as disappointed as the first. You're just as surprised. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, oh! Like, we're expecting the outcome to change. Yeah. You yeah. made two incredible dishes on that show. Yeah. And you were just a joy to yeah. watch. My son just, I mean, he mm -hmm. loves cooking, yes. But seeing people enjoy cooking is something that I love seeing from him. Yeah. yeah. Because he's just like, wow, she makes it look so fun. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I don't make it look fun, son. <laughs> Dude, it's just different. More baking. It's and just cooking. different, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, it's fun. And, you know, I, I love, I think it's great. I love, I want to start teaching people how to cook. That's fun for me. Do a little catering. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. You want some more? Oh. Baby girl finished her plate she and she's going back for a second. My she job here. Did, and she is. <laughs> and I don't know if you've ever seen, like, me talk about my little ones on Instagram, but they do not pull punches. And if they don't like something, they will absolutely <laughs> let you know. <Yeah>. They're <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> she loved it so much, she came and got a second full bowl of it just now. I love it. And I as a it. mom, yeah. nothing makes me happier than to feed. Like, agree. I'm feeding my daughter whole foods, yeah. and she's loving them. Yeah. Nothing makes me happier yeah. as a mother. Yep. That's nothing. I love it. Tatiba. Yes. Good job. So, since you were kind enough to provide yeah. your recipe, yes. I'm going to do my part and I'm going to bring dessert. Right. This is Miss Ruby. She is my wow. Ruby Red Velvet Pound Cake. Oh my God. She is absolutely delightful, friends. Um, The thing that was like, 
The thing that always got me about red velvet was that it tended to be dry. And I have fixed that problem with Miss Ruby. What's in that? So this is my glaze that I'm going to put onto my bunt cake. Okay. My daughter asked for vanilla glaze today instead okay. of the traditional cream cheese glaze, which is fine because cream okay. cheese, I would have needed to get my mixer. Don't feel like mixing anything. I, what I have here is my pound cake that's already done. It's okay. totally cool. I made it several hours ago and okay. I brushed it with a simple syrup because I always brush my pound cakes with a simple syrup like while they're still really warm. Now I'm making my final glaze. So I'm just, it's a okay. very simple mixture of confectioner sugar, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of salt. This is just my basic vanilla glaze. Okay. Confectioner sugar, a little bit of salt, a little bit of vanilla, okay. and some milk. Is it whole milk or just? Whole milk, always. Yeah. Whatever. Whole milk, okay. You can try other milks. Mm -hmm. The whole point of the milk is really just to, to make a nice cohesive mixture. Sure. Um, it does impact the flavor, but not as much as one might think. Okay. So I'm going to stir it. It's going to be like really thick and chunky at first. And then when okay. it's kind of mostly mixed together, I will add another half tablespoon. The total amount of milk that I usually put in here is about two and a half tablespoons. There are times that I only need two tablespoons, and that's why I start with the two. Because if I mix it and I'm like, oh, it came together perfectly, I don't add that last half tablespoon. Sure. But okay. I just added it. I'm not going to need any more milk than that, I don't think. Oh, and yeah. That's going to be my glaze. Now tell is... me about the simple syrup when it's okay. So you take it out of the oven. Mm -hmm. And then you add simple syrup because it will keep it so like nice and moist or like what is that? Do? It helps lock in moisture. So oh if it's a little bit overbaked, I mean, it's not a, it, look, it's not a magic wand. <laughs> if no, you've left no. the thing in there for two hours and it's dust, a simple syrup layer is not going to be the fairy godmother that saves you. But yeah. if it's a little bit over, um, okay. for my cakes, I like an internal, for my pound cakes, I like an internal temperature of 212 degrees. Okay. If it's like 220, 222, somewhere in there, simple syrup's going to help lock in the remaining moisture and okay. it will like give you just a touch of moisture, uh, additional moisture for your cake. So it okay. will help. Oh my God. But also the other thing about simple syrup is when people taste my cakes, I want them to be like, there is something there I can't place and it is okay. absolutely delicious. It's, it's your so secret. It's beyond delicious, and I can't figure out what it is. It's that yeah. music, right? <laughs> it's something that you do, like how my mom makes her greens. I don't know what she does extra. Yes, extra. It's exactly that. It is, but it's love. It's extra. love. Yeah. The greens is love. I mean, yeah. Sheila Martin but, says thanks for the simple syrup tip. You are so so yeah. welcome. Yeah. That's a great but tip. Yes. I've never heard it. Thank so. you. You know, I give that tip in my Perfect Pound Cakes class. Yeah, we should take the Perfect have... Pound Cakes class, Mom. All right. All righty, friends. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. I have my glaze. I put it in this little cup. Oh, my gosh. The drizzle. Oh. This is the footage that people are like, oh. I know. Because it's just, I'm just pouring. <laughs> you teleport yourself into this bite, though, right? Like. You're looking at this amazing drizzle, and you're like, oh, my gosh. I okay. Taste <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Well, now you and mom have a fun project. Oh, my gosh. That you can work on together. Yeah. I need to get a book. On cake. my website, the glaze that is with the recipe is a traditional um, cream cheese glaze. Okay. But this is just a vanilla glaze because... My little one asked for vanilla instead of cream cheese today. She wanted to mix it up. And why not? Wow. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Thank you. I love this pan. I think it just turns out such a beautiful cake. This is the Elegant Party Pan by Nordicware. Okay, Elegant Party Pan. Yes. And this is with elegant a nice meat. cup of coffee. You can oh, eat yeah. Breakfast. Lunch and dinner, yep. Just kidding. 
All righty. That looks and amazing. Our cake is dressed. <laughs> you so I'm gonna let this in the neighborhood. Look at that. <laughs> it's dripping. It looks delicious. It's jiffy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to let that set up a little bit and the, the glaze will actually harden a bit. Things that have confectioner sugar, glazes and even buttercreams that have confectioner sugar in them okay. tend to harden, right? Uh -huh. Not harden to the point of becoming like disgusting, but yeah. that's kind of one of the things about like American buttercream that people love so much is that it stiffens up. Um, same concept for the glaze, except it's just a little kiss of sugar on top of your beautiful, beautiful yeah. cake. Oh so God. now I have my dinner, I hope, because it could end up being second lunch again. That has happened. <laughs> and I <laughs> – see, they're all laughing now. <laughs> and I also have my little something sweet to go with it, which That's is my good. ruby red pound cake. Guys, you do not have to wait for me to post this recipe because it is already on my site. Like, yeah. it's there. You can go find it right now. This is my ruby red pound cake. And if you want a vanilla glaze, I actually have a whole recipe for, okay. like, a classic simple vanilla glaze right on my website. But if you want to do the traditional glaze, that would be the cream cheese glaze. It's right there with the pound cake recipe. I'm going to make it. you can just love it and enjoy it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm making it today. I'm going to go get the stuff. You are? Yeah. Well, why would I not? I mean, you know, I'm here. The kitchen I'm is I'm so there. honored. Yeah. I'm going to make it today. Sean. <laughs> Miss Alex is going to make my cake today. I am. He's a chance. But I'm going to just, I'm going to find some tips for elevation and um, yeah. pray that, <laughs> that it works. But. Yeah, I, I want to make that because red velvet is my favorite. Is it? Yeah. That's so my happy. Everything. Yeah. It looks great. It makes me so <laughs> happy. Alex, you have been just a tremendous, tremendous. See, mom's oh. already ready. <laughs> <laughs> I have to send it to Letitia. Kathy, I'll save you some. Kathy is in my workout group. Letitia is my sister-in-law. I have to send it to her, or I'll make it when I go out there. So it'll be yay! Good. So you'll make everybody happy with cake. Yes, we're gonna. Don't do forget that. to, but don't forget the um, the sausage and vegetable pasta. I feel yeah. like they kind of go together now, right? Right. <laughs> that is a combo. It's a combo. It's yeah. a combo. Perfect. Combination. And it's gonna be a wonderful combo of that. Hopefully. Hopefully, I can spatch this away and warm it up for dinner, and everybody will be like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. And I can swear my daughter to secrecy. Because otherwise, it's going to end up being second lunch for everybody, and I just don't know how I'm going to handle that today. <laughs> You're not cleaning Because I don't want to cook dinner. You're going to stash that. Oh, I have to clean up all of this, <laughs> and then I don't want to cook anything else. To do. I don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> but, guys, this has been, like, Alex, you are just... A delight. I love that we are connected now. Yeah. I love that, like, you have my phone number. Please feel free to use it as I much as you like. Um, I'll call you. And can I tell everybody? Can I tell What's the that? people? What? About you and the Home Baking Academy? Can I tell everybody? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can tell. Yeah. Yeah. So, friends, Alex and I have a bit of an announcement. <laughs> We're having a baby. No, I'm and I, <laughs> that's not the announcement. It's kind of like that. Right? It is kind of like that. <laughs> we have a bit of an announcement, and I'm like vibrating with excitement because friends, Alex has agreed to teach you guys a class at the Begin with Butter Home Baking yeah. Academy, and to say that I am thrilled is such. Such, such an understatement. Alex is somebody, I mean, you guys yeah. see her. You're, you have already, I'm sure, fallen head over the heels in love with Alex. You are going to continue to fall in love with her because she is going to teach this class. 
And then I'm going to be begging her to come <laughs> back and teach more classes at the yeah. Home Baking Academy. So guys, yeah. you are going to be seeing Alex in a live class very soon. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> we're going to be doing some live classes. This is something I've been wanting to do. And me and Shawnee have been trying, like when we were talking, I was like, that's something I really want to do. She's like, okay, well, let's do it together. And I was like, okay. Yeah. So it's not baking necessarily, but like how she's bringing dessert, I'm going to cook some, I'm going to teach you how to cook some things. It's going to be fun. We're going to, we're going to have some good, great meals come out of the kitchen. You're going to have more confidence in the kitchen. It's going to be great. That's and good. Begin With Butter is going to expand its horizons yes. so that you all can cook wonderfully satisfying one pot or not one pot meals for your families yeah and you will have alex to lead you the whole way yeah and as somebody who was just taught by alex and who made a dish that i would love to photograph literally yeah. at her direction you guys are in great hands i cannot yeah. wait yeah it's gonna be fun i'll i'll give you guys all all of the links and stuff because shiny's gonna help me set it up she's got it like all she's got this we like, both got oh, it. That's going to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I love being a one woman show. <laughs> but now I'm not because you are here. You're yeah. joining the Begin with Butter Home Baking Academy. And yeah. I am literally standing here great. vibrating with excitement <laughs> about that fact. So thank you, Alex, yeah. for like being part of it. Yeah. You know? It's going to be great. Yeah. We got to do gonna it. It's going to be amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> all right, sweet friends. I'm going to keep Alex here for like two more minutes, but I'm kicking you all out of the kitchen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not kicking you. I'm not kicking you all out of the kitchen. We're just going to end this episode because we have kept you all so long today and have truly, truly enjoyed having you. We have truly, uh -huh. truly enjoyed interacting <laughs> with you all today. Today, yeah, I that was noticed, fun. Alex. I love, I love this. Time. Time. That was fun. This is the first time on I'll Bring Dessert that we've actually had the opportunity to interact with people. And yeah, it just right. was wonderful. So, oh, your mom's so cute. I love her. Yeah. I love her. It's Valerie. Yay, Alex and Shani. What a great team. Thank you, Valerie. Thanks, ladies, as your mom. I love it. Friends, I have had a tremendous so tremendous time today with Alex. I am so grateful that you spent time with me in my kitchen, that you taught me how to make a dish that is clearly an instant favorite with my daughter as she has eaten two full bowls of it at this point. <laughs> and That's I love great. that for her. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm so glad to be acquainted with you, to know you, to be yeah. continuing this in the Home Baking Academy and to support you on your teaching journey. I can't wait to see everything yeah. that you are going to accomplish. It's, it's going to be fantastic. I'm excited. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you. And so, friends, I'm going to keep Alex for another minute or two. Uh -huh. But I am going to bid you all adieu. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you all for joining us today. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all next time live Yay. on I'll Bring Dessert. I'll see you guys. Bye.